This is the story of one of the most inhumane human experiments I've ever heard. This is the story of the tragic life of David Reimer. So David Reimer was actually born as Bruce Reimer, along with his twin brother, Brian, to their young teen parents, Janet and Ron. When Bruce was eight months old, something terrible happened. So when the twins were eight months old, they went in for what was supposed to be a routine circumcision. A blade is usually used for this procedure, but the surgeon who performed theirs used an electrocautery needle. And he tragically botched Bruce's circumcision. The damage was catastrophic. Um, this infant boy was mutilated. Um, the damage was irreparable. And doctors told the parents that um, he'll probably never gain full use of his genitals. And it set the entire family up for a trajectory of a lifetime of sadness and tragedy, unfortunately. The parents were obviously devastated, and they went through exhaustive efforts to try and resolve this problem to spare their child from years of mental anguish until they met this man. This is Dr. John Money, who's a psychologist who specializes in gender reassignment and transitioning. Now, he long theorized that gender was a social construct and that your nurturing is going to outweigh your inherent nature in terms of your gender identity. Obviously, this was never proven, but he saw the perfect opportunity in David and these devastated parents for a perfect guinea pig. So what he did was tell these heartbroken parents to put their child under gender reassignment surgery and that it would benefit him to raise him as a girl instead of a boy. And that's what they did. So the decision was made to have Bruce undergo gender reassignment surgery and to stop raising him as Bruce and start raising him as Brenda. Now things were fine for years um, and the family actually traveled up every year to see Dr. Money um, to have check-ins and for doc Dr. Money to kind of reaffirm Brenda's gender and she seemed to identify as female. Now Dr. Money thought this was a glowing success and that his theory had been proven true and published a paper about it as well. However, when Brenda hit the age of like 12, 13, um, she really started to question her gender identity, um, which we'll talk about in part two. This is one of the most inhumane human experiments I've ever heard. Part two. This is the story of the tragic life of David Reimer. So picking up where we left off, we have the Reimer family, parents Janet and Ron, and twins Brian and Brenda, who was formerly Bruce. Now Brenda is being raised female, but she was born male um, and underwent gender reassignment surgery following a tragic accident. And up to the age of 13 has undergone a number of female reassignment surgeries and um, extensive hormone therapy as well. However, by the time she hit puberty, she definitely started questioning her gender identity. Despite Brenda's mother constantly reinforcing to Brenda that she is female, she always felt differently. Brenda reported saying that she always gravitated towards masculine things um, and her mom said that it was uh, impossible to get her to do anything feminine in her teen years. This obviously had a huge effect on Brenda's mental health and she became dangerously depressed. Now bear in mind that Brenda and Brian have no idea about the gender reassignment surgery. As far as they were concerned, they were born as Brian and Brenda Reimer. Uh, but their father recognized Brenda's inner torment and decided to take his um, two children out to eat when they were 15 years old and told them their secret. Upon discovering this news, uh, Brenda decided to make the decision to um, resume life as living as a male and changed her name to David. He also underwent hormone therapy and endured several surgeries to restore his gender back to male. David got married in 1990 to a woman named Jane and became the stepfather to three kids. However, throughout the remainder of his life, he struggled to reconcile with his troubled childhood and remained deeply depressed. It had significant effects on his family too. 
His father struggled with alcoholism for the rest of his life. His mother struggled with major depression, and his twin brother struggled with drug addiction. In 2001, he told his story in a book, As Nature Made Him. The book talks about his childhood, and it heavily criticizes Dr. Money and his theory that gender can be taught. He even agreed to work with another doctor um, to lay the groundwork um, to not perform gender reassignment surgery on intersex infants, so this never happens again. In 2002, David's brother Brian succumbed to a drug overdose and passed away in 2002. This, in addition to the years of physical and mental stress, were too much for him and he unalived himself at the age of 38 in 2004. And that's the story of the tragic life of David Reimer.